हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जीटा एक्सिस एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ परमानेंट विंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन अनदर वीडियो हाउ दिस परमानेंट विंड्स आर फॉर्म्ड एंड व्हाट इज देयर डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो वी हैव आल्सो सीन द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ परमानेंट विंड्स ऑन क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस द लिंक्स फॉर दोस वीडियोस इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ परमानेंट विंड्स वी विल सी व्हाट आर द बिहेवियर ऑफ परमानेंट विंड्स इन रियल एनवायरमेंट now while discussing the permanent winds we had considered them flowing from a constant location towards another constant location but that is not true the permanent winds continuously change their location based on the location of sun here we can see the yellow line which indicates that where the sun is located we can see that in summer the sun is over tropic of cancer in winter it moves closer to tropic of capricorn the itcg tries to follow this location of sun Now remember, ITCG does not exactly follow the sun because it takes some time for the region to get heated and the intertropical convergence zone to reach over there. Therefore, it will always lag behind. And here you can see that this ITCG is in the southern hemisphere, but it is lagging behind the location of sun. And we can see the Hadley cells over here. Both of these Hadley cells they meet over the ITCG. Now, if we see from the cross section, we can see that how the sun is moving, and the ITCG is trying to follow it, and all other cells, Hadley cell, the feral cell, polar cell, as well as this subtropical high pressure belt and the polar low pressure belt, all these are moving with the movement of the sun. You can clearly see here that as the sun moves towards south, all these things they will move towards the southern direction. and as it moves in the northern direction all these elements will move in the northern direction we can clearly see over here that how all the jet streams the pressure belts the wind sails they try to follow the location of sun so it is clear from here that they are not stationary but they continuously change their location based on the position of sun now variation in shape of pressure belts and wind belts when we were discussing we considered these belts to be a straight line but that is not actually true in reality these lines can be bent over some places they can be stretched over other places we can see over here that there is deformation in all those belts we can see that the jet stream is not straight it is bent it is having meanders even the pressure belt are not straight similarly we will see that the itcg also not straight so in reality these are not straight lines but they are affected by the land and sea lying below them and that is why there can be a large variations which can be away from a straight line they can have various shapes so here you can see that in real environment these belts are not a straight line but they can have some irregularities now while discussing the permanent winds we saw that all these wind belts as well as pressure belts were shown as a single continuous belts but that is not true in real environment these belts could be discontinuous here we see what we have studied we can see that all the jet streams and the wind belts and the pressure belts are continuous but this is not true here you can see a pressure belt we can see here that this high pressure is distributed only over these regions again there is some low pressure and then we see again rise of high pressure similarly over here we do not see a continuous high pressure belt but we see a discontinuous high pressure belt now in this video we can see how the pressure belt varies throughout the year we can clearly see that the pressure is not constant but the pressure continuously changes we can see that in the month of january there are high pressure belts over the continents but there is a low pressure region over here so the pressure belts are not continuous we can clearly see in the southern hemisphere the pressure belt is continuous but in the northern hemisphere it is not continuous similarly throughout the year we will see that there is no continuous pressure belts and similarly even the wind belts are not continuous even the jet streams often break at some places there are certain places where they could be missing this is for an illustration where we can see that there is no tropical jet stream over here and the polar jet stream is also very weak over here so there are some discontinuities in these wind belts and pressure belts which we can find across our earth i hope you like this video and if you have liked this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you